Well, it looks like Megan McCain finally realizes that she's surrounded on all sides by a pit of vipers. Today on The View, they were discussing the failed abortion law that would have punished doctors who refused to give medical care to babies that were born after a botched abortion. It failed in part because every single Democrat that's running for president voted against it, and critics like AOC have been out there claiming that this is just chipping away at abortion rights. But the fact is, the bill actually protects mothers and only goes after doctors who refuse to give medical care. It doesn't even address abortion rights. It simply states that a baby born alive is an individual that has rights and should be given medical care. Apparently, this is controversial on the left. There's also on their platform, which I wanted to bring up, was Ben Sass authored the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. This act would punish any doctor who fails to provide medical care to a child born alive after an attempted abortion. Every single Democrat, except three of them, voted for this yesterday, including Cory Booker, Kristen Gillibrand, Kamala Harris, Amy Klobuchar, Elizabeth Warren, and Bernie Sanders. So that means these Democrats don't believe that a baby born after a botched abortion should receive medical care. Forget the fact that I believe that a baby that's in the womb is a separate entity from the mother and is already a human being. We're talking about a fully formed human baby that has been born into the world and now has rights. Over and over again, I'm a broken record when it comes to talking about how the left is dangerous and they're dangerous because they seem to be able to rationalize anything. This is another prime example of that. If they can rationalize killing a little tiny crying baby, then they can rationalize doing much worse to their political enemies. I fear that giving these people more and more power will simply lead to tyranny and oppression of their political opposition, just like we've seen the tech giants use censorship to put down their political opposition. Just like they minimize a tiny little crying baby to nothing more than a clump of cells to be disregarded, they demonize us as monsters because anything goes when you're dealing with monsters. Now, this is an example when we're talking about people having children and where just how extreme the left has gone. This is an example of that. And by the way, according to a Marxist poll, 80 percent of Americans support abortion being limited to the first three months of pregnancy. So if Democrats want to win an election mm -hmm. going forward, are you going to be the party of late term abortion? I the party I of infanticide. Let me finish. Yeah, Megan's right. In red states, this will never fly. But I have no doubt that the vast majority of Democrats enthusiastically support this. And on top of that, they will have the full support and backing of the media, Hollywood, and academia. The very fact that we're even sitting here debating the morality of ending the life of a born baby is just a testament to the fact that we're losing this battle. You're talking about children and you're talking about being pro-life. This is well out of the mainstream of where Americans are at. And when I hear AOC saying that, I actually think Cory Booker, Kristen Gilligrand, Kamala Harris, all these people, they are... They are answering her. I believe AOC is the leader of the party. And if you, by the way, according to a Marxist poll, 80% of Americans support abortion being limited to the first three months of pregnancy. McCain mentions a Marist poll that shows that 80% of Americans do support limiting abortion to just the first trimester and rare instances of rape. The problem is, when does the media or academia or Hollywood ever talk about these polls? They don't. And in fact, they bury them. The poll shows that there is hope but it really just depends on the ability of the information to get out to the people without the filter of Hollywood, the media, and academia. And you'll see what I mean here as co-host Sonny Hostin tries to spin away from the fact that we're talking about killing born babies here. Push back on that. Um, only because... Thank you very much, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. I need to push back on that. On the because, Ben Sass as, Born Alive Abortion Survivor. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were pro-life like me. I am. And that's why I need to push back on it. Because I so think... So you think a baby born at the, from okay, a botched her, abortion her, should be put down her, this is like a dog or a cat. This is, this is, Megan, why, I to, this is why I need to push back on it. This is why I need it's to push back. It's infanticide. What is Sonny Hostin even saying here? That because she claims it's rare that in those rare occurrences, it's okay to kill a baby that's been born into the world? You might also notice that when Sonny is providing this spin that she's looking down at the table most of the time. She barely looks up at McCain at all during the entire exchange. Yeah, it's kind of hard to look at somebody in the face when you're rationalizing the murder of a baby that's already been born. McCain probably should have just let her finish without interrupting, but I can understand not being able to stay silent as you're listening to a person try and put a positive spin on infanticide. Is table. she going to be able it's, to tell it's her something that's so extremely not. rare that it basically it's never not, happened? It's not rare, in because fact. Because my, my, my sister-in-law is an OBGYN and also Catholic, so it's something that we talk about a lot. So <laughs> oh, my God. 
Sonny, you know what's not safe for a newborn? Being aborted or being left to starve to death after being born. Those two things are as far away from being safe for a baby as being in a den full of hungry lions. The fact that she would even use that argument shows that she's really struggling and reaching to defend her position. Aborted so child this is part, I think, that of a larger strategy to pay. Thank you. That doctor this should is, be punished. By the way, we, this is we, also... Are we, are we, can I just finish for one second? If the Republicans care can about I, children can after we, they were born. Do we, we, have we have to go. No, no. We have to go. Yeah, Joy, I would have ended the segment too. You were not looking good. Ultimately, the bill failed, but there is a silver lining. This is just another layer of veneer that's been peeled away from the Democrat Party and exposing who they really are. One last thing, I wanted to thank all of the people who have been supporting me over the last couple days on PayPal and on Patreon. Without all of you, I might have thrown in the towel after YouTube demonetized my channel. If you're a fan of my channel and you agree with my mission, I'm asking you to please consider donating to me on PayPal or subscribing to me on Patreon. For just a couple dollars a month, you can provide me with what I need to purchase software, hardware, and the ability to cover left-wing protests. With the 2020 election coming up, I'm going to be very busy. Please consider supporting me to make sure that I have all the tools and the time I need to do it. You can find links in the description, in the pinned comment, and at the end of every video. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.